Thank you. Also has been to NOAA for three years, I think. And unlike many other companies, Investing.com didn't really raise a lot of money. Actually, we raised nothing. Nothing. Yeah. That's, that's very little. Uh, but they're a world leader in financial information from the stock market and so on. Uh, maybe you introduce yourself and talk a little bit about what Investing.com is. Okay, so um, my name is Dora Frat. I'm the CEO and one of the uh, founders of Investing.com. Uh, we have uh, launched the company in 2007. And uh, essentially, since we kind of went into a, a mature market where there were a lot of players, uh, the like likes Yahoo of Finance, Yahoo Finance on one hand, and the other side of the uh, industry is the Bloomberg of the world, which is more for the professionals and cost a lot of money. We were thinking to ourselves, how can we create a unique niche in the marketplace that will allow us to somehow grow and sneak between all the giants? And essentially, that uh, kind that of worked strategy out. worked out pretty well for us. So uh, we have created a working office for the uh, participant, uh, active participant in the marketplace. Uh, we offer a lot of quotes, charts, uh, predictors, calendars, all kinds of, of, of tools, and a lot of supporting tools for the end user that allows him to be aware of what's taking place and communicate with him, um, and a lot of services that helps the end users. And I, I think you told me once, it's like, the best free product closest to the Bloomberg in the market. I, I believe so. And essentially, a lot of the services that we offer for free, essentially, you would be forced to pay money for different service providers. Right. I like investing.com because it symbolizes a lot what the Israeli startups are known for. Great in product and great in monetization. Um, and I think if you compare yourself to the Yahoo's, the Microsoft with MSN Money, um, I think they see this a bit more like a cost center because they haven't really figured out yet how to monetize it well. Maybe we can talk about the monetization. So you're providing stock market or financial information of all kinds of securities to the world. I think it's a very global business. You're on every con continent, 20 million users per month. How do you make money? Well, essentially, our trick is that we, we never bought media. It's all about... Because uh, users don't pay, it's free. It's free. Yeah. And the way we uh, generate traffic to our, towards our sites is by organic traffic, whether it's going to be SEO, referring sites, and so on. Then we need to make sure that our product is such that they really like it and they come back time and again. So over 60% of our users, of our traffic actually, are repeating uh, users which are coming time and again to our sites. I think your app retention, app users are like 50%, I recall. Well, it depends on it, whether it's the crypto one or the uh, uh, regular app. On the regular app, it's 35 to 40, depends on whether it's After iOS. 12, 12 months or yeah, like a year? We have it for years now, uh, three years. So people and stay, but how do you make money? Because they don't pay, so you have advertising revenues mostly. Right, so essentially we have constructed two companies. One company essentially makes the product itself. The other company is in charge of monetization. Mm -hmm. So we're specializing in everything that has to do with BI, uh, statistics and so on. And we have created tons of products that we uh, tend to monetize and optimize and run it on real-time basis. Uh, so we sell banners, we sell uh, mail blast, we have buttons, we have directories, and all of that is essentially kind of the reverse of what Google are doing. If on Google you're gonna go as a customer and bid for your position, we take the premium media that we sell and we take the uh, performance media that we uh, sell and we take the uh, real-time bidding platforms, the likes of Google, and we let them compete between each other. And this is how we are um, very successful in um, optimizing our, our uh, monetization. So whatever gives you the highest monetization for a user in a country at that time, you're going to show them that type of advertising. Yes, and we do that also on the basis of Gale and uh, language and 
uh, time of the uh, of the day as well as uh, interest. Okay. So we can launch, let's say, a red banner at one point of time to a given area, and then a yellow banner at, at a different time because it works. And who are your customers? Like, who are the main advertisers you have? So uh, we deal a lot with uh, brokers on a global basis. So uh, financial brokers. Financial brokers. Uh, nowadays, we start to have more and more banks which are uh, starting to work with us. And then, obviously, we use, uh, to some extent, the Google platforms, which accounts for about 25% of our uh, overall income. Um, that would sum up probably our, our customer base. And can you share some, some numbers, maybe? Uh, I think uh, we sure. saw a quite nice growth recently. Yeah, so we have about uh, 150 million sessions per month uh, as far as uh, uh, visitors. Um, 150 million, and that's distributed all over the world, I think? Quite global, yeah. We have 23 uh, languages and seven uh, local editions. And then um, as far as uh, employees, we have uh, just over 230 employees, if you take into account also the freelancers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as far as uh, revenues, uh, if volatility, would, volatility will continue, we're probably going to reach somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 60 million dollars uh, in revenues uh, this year. And highly profitable. Extremely profitable. Israel yeah. style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what is the next step for you? I mean, you, you have the best product in the market. It has globally accepted. Uh, you, you probably said at the beginning of the talk that advertising hasn't been a driver of growth because people sign up organically. Uh, should you do more advertising, considering that users like the product and stay and you can monetize them over a long time? Well, you know, what we are concentrating on nowadays is essentially uh, statistics and databases. And we've learned that uh, we kind of didn't take it seriously enough or neglected it for, for quite a while. And from statistics, you learn a lot. For example, we've learned that our uh, members are uh, five times more active than regular and members users. Members are registered users. Registered users. So now it is our goal to increase the uh, number of members we have on a regular basis. For example, three years ago we used to have 15,000 uh, registered members on a monthly basis. We've reached now to just around 160,000 a month. And it is our goal to take it to 300,000 uh, members within the coming year or so because they generate 5% uh, of those uh, users uh, generate about 25% of our overall activity. So obviously, this is one example of how uh, putting an emphasis on statistics essentially help you to grow faster on one hand and to monetize your um, activity much, much better. So for you, the biggest learnings came through making big data analysis finding patterns, and then adjusting the strategy to that. Exactly. Utilize statistics in order to both understand what to construct, how to allow users to use our site, and then how to monetize uh, their activity. But well, thank you so much. Uh, very proud to have you, because thank we you. have been in touch now for many years, and I've seen the company growing and growing. Very, very impressive. Thank you so much. Thanks.